everybody. I just wanted to do a quick uh, overview uh, and a review of uh, this little mini projector, the Jinhu. It's the uh, Jinhu M10. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the machine, what comes with it, and then I'm going to demo the, uh, the HDMI input for watching uh, movies. I'm going to demo that, and I'm going to demo a couple of different distances from the screen, and, uh, and I'll talk about the paint I used uh, for my white wall as well. Okay, so let's um, let's get going. So it comes it's, it, it comes with a power cord, of course, remote control, battery's not included, a manual that's to be expected pretty useless. You get these handy cleaning uh, cloths as well as some long Q-tips, and, uh, and and you also get a video audio video cable as well. But you get these long Q-tips and a little Phillips screwdriver and instructions on how to clean the LED screen in the back if you find you have a spot on your screen and it's not a piece of dust on your lens, it's actually inside the machine on the LED. I thought that was pretty cool. Comes with a speaker, which I don't think is very good. Um, and then you've got your VGA, USB, HDMI. Um, it's got a slot for a micro card and of course your headset jack and, uh, and an audio in as well. Of course, your focus ring is right there and your keystone adjustment. I'll show you how that works in a second here when, when I demo the projector. So that's it uh, as far as, you know, the machine and, and what it comes with. It's, uh, it's 4200 uh, Lux. I just got this. I just got it on Amazon and I paid uh, $93 for it. And, um, and I'd highly recommend it. I'm really happy with it. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, Let's have a look at uh, how this little baby performs. Okay, so I'm running this off my laptop, my HDMI up through my laptop. Um, and um, <clears throat> here's what the screen looks like when you first turn it on. Here's the remote. It's, it's a pretty easy remote to, to figure out. I didn't have any trouble with it. So, of course, you can go through your whole setups and, and change different things. You can change... Uh, um, you can use this with Wi-Fi. You can connect your smart device to this. Let's turn my headlamp off. You can connect your smart device to this, among other things. Of course, the HDMI, uh, video source, etc. And um, there's your pro projection orientation. Um, you can use it as a rear screen projector, but <clears throat> you can also hang it from a ceiling. And when you do that, of course, you turn the projector upside down, and this is where you change your your mode for that, pretty self-explanatory. Some advanced settings, um, and an information page, which seems <laughs> completely useless. I'm not quite sure why that's there anyway. So there's your basic stuff. And for this here, it doesn't have an exit button. Basically, it's got a return button on the menu. And that gets you back to your previous page. Let's get to the video. I'm gonna select the source. And there's my um, HDMI outputs. When you get to this page, that's where you have your your brightness uh, uh, settings, aspect ratio, of course. I've taken the brightness from 50 to 51, and the contrast from 50 to 49. Um, more about that later. Right now, the uh, image on the wall is about nine feet wide, three meters, and the projector is 12 feet from the wall and the lens is about four feet off the floor so that gives you an idea and I wanted the big cinematic style this is an outbuilding it's it's gonna be a you know it's a theater room for us um, I'm in a while later in the video I'm gonna demo what the image looks like closer to the wall I think you'll see a, dis a, a difference anyway let's go ahead and um, let's turn this video on and uh, see how it looks. This is uh, something from my YouTube channel. I've got documentaries and, and travel videos that I when I travel somewhere I do a video. I, I can't help myself. Um, this was in Oregon. Um, first things first, there's the sound from the built-in speaker on the projector. I'm not very impressed with it. I just wanted you to hear it. I'm going to try to turn that down so 
so you can hear me. I'm going to turn it down. You don't need to hear the video here. Um, but if you're going to use this as a home theater, you're going to want to have a surround sound system. Um, you know, you're going to want to have better speakers hooked up to this to get the full, you know, cinematic effect if you want to watch movies with this, which I think a lot of you are probably going to do. Now, one of the most important things with this projector, I'm sure with most projectors, is you want to have a completely dark room. I've blackened these windows from the outside. I want to show you the difference. Here's a wall light. I'm going to turn this off. Whoops. <laughs> you see the difference right there. And then... Now I've got one light left in the room. It's a corner light. And I'm going to turn that off. And there, it's night and day. I mean, it's... That, to me, that, that looks pretty darn good for a $93 projector. I'm totally impressed with it. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's turn that light back on. I just wanted to talk a bit more about my, about my setup here. Um, the projector is about four feet off the floor, and I wanted that so that I could actually sit right underneath it, and, you know, how we can get more people in the area uh, with it. We're all sitting down, you know, I'm, I'm, I want it to be right underneath it. Um, because I've got it like that, I had to uh, lift the back end up a little bit so that I could get the, uh, so that I could, so I had to lower the picture down, you know, to get it all on the wall. Um, and as I mentioned before, I was going to show you this keystone adjustment, and that's the keystone adjustment right there. And what that does is that's a way to adjust your angle, and that, that'll be dictated about how high the projector is and that's also where your adjustment is if you're going to hang the projector from the ceiling it's going to be on an angle and uh, you know that's where you're going to adjust your angle of the picture on the wall um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of adjustment on this keystone uh, so you'll have to play with that once you get it um, and of course there's your focus your focus room right there one of my uh, criticisms and it's a small one the folk the focus rings a little bit stiff I would have been happier if that was a bit a bit smoother and easier to use it's it's a little stiff so another criticism is the uh, fan noise uh, and I knew that before I bought it I'd gone online and looked at some YouTube videos and there's actually a video where a guy takes a decibel meter um, to actually measure the level of uh, fan noise so I knew that when I got it that there was going to be that that fan noise you can hear it. I'm pretty close there, and this mic really punches stuff up. Um, so if you're buying this to watch movies, it, it might be a consideration for you. Um, I was watching a movie last night that had some quiet moments, and, you know, you can hear the fan. But it's, it's a trade-off. Like I said, I was aware of it. I knew it before I bought it. So, so be advised. Uh, it might be a deal-breaker for you. Um, but I can live with it. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to move the projector closer to the wall and um, so that we can see if there's any difference in the quality of the picture. But again, we've got a nice sunny day here. Let's turn the light off again. That's, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty impressive picture for a $93 all-in, online, all-in delivered. I'm impressed. I like the big cinematic effect, the big 9-foot wide screen. <laughs> And, and the surround sound on, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's move this puppy a bit closer to the wall and, and see how it looks. Okay, so now I've moved the projector closer to the wall. Um, uh, I'm about eight feet, I'm eight feet from the wall, so under, under three meters, about 30 inches off the uh, floor, I'm, I'm sitting on a desk. Um, you'd be the judge on the picture quality. Uh, Let's watch a few seconds of this. I wanted to see if I could get to something that we'd already seen. Um, it looks a bit punchier. Uh, the blacks, to me, the blacks still appear to be a little bit, uh, a little crush. And the, uh, the screen size, eight feet with the, with the projector, eight feet from the wall, the screen size is five and a half, <clears throat> five and a half feet.
uh, under two meters. So you're just going to need a, a sound source if you want to watch this for movies. This is the built-in speakers, pretty lame. So you're going to want, you know, you're going to want to have some kind of a. It doesn't even have to be a surround sound if you have an old amp kicking around that, um, you know, you can run some speakers off your laptop. So that's why you really kind of want a laptop for this too, because you can't plug in a USB stick and play a movie off of that, but you'll be using that crappy little speaker. So um, I think you really want a laptop. I wanted to talk about the uh, paint I used uh, on my wall for the projector screen. It's a product that's uh, made by Bear, and it's called Silver Screen. Um, you can see this is an off-white that this room is painted in and what I liked about this color was it kind of complements the off-white uh, it's not that dark and it seemed to be more effective than just the white wall it was definitely a better it's definitely better than just the white wall you'll see YouTube videos where uh, where guys actually add some darker colors to this silver screen paint this bare product to make it a bit darker and it's probably a little bit more effective but I'm pretty happy with this and, and I like the fact that it complements this the, the silver screen color complements what I've got and you know it doesn't look like it's a, a really out of place so that's what I've done uh, okay I think that's about all I can say about this $93 all in delivered very happy I'm very happy um, all right so there you go so check out some of my other videos check out my uh, my series professional video production on a shoestring budget where you'll find other reviews of, of uh, gear my video gear professional and as well as uh, consumer and uh, tips and tricks for video production check that out and check out my uh, my other channel my website thank you for chronicles okay cheers everybody enjoy your projector